This is a short lecture on cancer of the vulva. In this one we shall look at the anatomy and the staging alongside signs and symptoms and investigations that patients may undergo. As a recap, the vulva consists of the lips surrounding the vaginal opening, the clitoris and the Bartholin's glands. The majority of the vulva is drained by lymphatics that pass laterally to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. The clitoris and anterior labia minora may also drain directly to the deep inguinal or the internal iliac lymph nodes. As you can see from this slide, imaging of cancer of the vulva can be tricky. Often the tumour can be seen by eye. However, on the MRI on the left, it has been labelled for us. PET CT can prove to be very useful as it not only shows the tumour itself, but can highlight possible spread as you can see in image F on the right hand side showing a node. Cancer of the vulva accounts for only 5% of gynaecological cancers and the average age of a patient with diagnosis is 65. There are around 1400 new vulval cancer cases in the UK every year. That's nearly four every day. The vast majority, over three quarters, are squamous cell carcinomas. When we discuss the signs, the symptoms and the risk factors of this type of cancer, we must remember that it is most prevalent in those that have already gone through the menopause. Therefore, it will be obvious if they have any discharge or bleeding, which is not related to any periods. You look for an open sore or growth on the skin, a burning sensation when passing the urine, a lump or swelling on the vulva itself or in the groin area, thickened, raised, red, white or dark patches on the skin, pain or soreness, itching sensations or a mole that changes shape or colour. There are quite a few risk factors involved, which it could be HPV infection, a history of smoking, multiple sexual partners, immunosuppression, chronic vulvar disease, previous malignancies of the lower genital tract if they're aged over 60 years. The preventative measures that they can take are to get a regular smear test, perform routine self-examination, stop smoking, limit the number of sexual partners and use barrier contraceptive. Here we have provided a couple of images of cancers of the vulva. Um, they look like they could be quite painful and uncomfortable for the patients. Here we have a flow chart of the staging investigations that a patient might go through. So looking first of all for um, whether they've got a negative groin examination or not, or looking for some involved groin nodes. Um, and then from there we would follow down the line of whether they would require surgery, um, depending on the size of the lesion and whether they would then go on to have chemotherapy or radiotherapy, depending on that. Also, we must bear in mind it would take into account the patient's preference as well. And here's a slide showing the FIGO staging of the cancer of the vulva. So that's quite an interesting one to look at, and we can have a little talk about it later on when we come to look at it in the tutorial.